As is often the case here at Psychcore, um, we take things and get completely out of line with them. So when we're trying to define the word phylogeny, um, Mr. Brad behind the camera here has the better definition than anyone. So I think he needs to speak it because I sure as hell ain't going to say that on camera. <laughs> it's behaviors from fucking. <laughs> And we're not talking about all the messies and the fun and all that stuff. We're talking about the behaviors that result um, genetically, right? So um, it's the it's the natural um, it, it's the it, it's the genetic history and the behaviors that go along with that genetic history. It's the reflexes. And I'm not talking about Lamarckian evolution here. I am talking about um, what you are prepared to do as a biological organism. My thumb moves because of phylogeny, right? So that's a t I have the ability to do that. Um, I could hold it still, and that's on, and learn that, hey, doing this is an ontogenic response, right? Because now I'm going hitchhiking. Um, but the fact that it moves is prepared. That's a, a phylogenic sort of thing. So the stuff that you are prepared to do, the reflexes, um, the instincts, all right? So I hate that term for like 700 reasons. Um, but all organisms have phylogenic responses, and they learn ontogenic responses. They work together. Right? Um, it even gets really more complex when you talk about the phylogenic responses of a bird and the ontogenic responses of a human or dogs or cats or whatever, and you interact and these things produce the wonderful world that we live in. Again, I'm going to refer you back to a wonderful paper that Skinner wrote, The Phylogeny and Ontogeny of Behavior. It's amazing. Read it! Bye!